There are a lot of people will stay and a fair number of them are going to move. Now here is a 737 MAX factory and this is a busy place because it was making 52 airplanes a month, then it went to 42 airplanes a month, still busy. All of that is going to be cleaned out. So where are all of these people going and why? There is change coming to the Renton flight line. Machinists doing some of the final tweaks on these 737 MAX jets before they're flown under special rules into storage. Awaiting the lifting of the grounding by the FAA, the time frame for that, uncertain. So by the end of next week, the last 737 MAX should be leaving the Renton airport before the shutdown. Now what happens to the people? There are about 12,000 Boeing employees who work in the 737 normally, and they are not all in Renton, but most of them are. But only about 3,000 737 workers will be moved during the production shutdown. So where will those people go? Everett is clearly the biggest stop to work on the 767, the 777, and to help get the new 777X back up to speed. And some may go to the company's fabrication division that makes parts in Auburn and Fredrickson. Then there are all those Maxes parked at Moses Lake. Boeing said months ago it would move some people to Moses Lake to help maintain and upgrade those planes for their eventual delivery. Boeing has also assigned people to a new storage site in Victorville, California, where Southwest Airlines has already parked its fleet of 34 jets when the grounding came on March 13th. Now there will even be some moves at the company's South Carolina factory as well. Folks that actually build parts that help enclose the 737 MAX's engines, they're going to stay in North Charleston, Charleston but they're going to work on the 787 Dreamliner. There. Okay, so you say not everybody's moving, so the people staying in rent, and what will they be doing? Okay, so two things. Some work could be brought to them. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of things that they really want to tweak and adjust. So this is this opportunity. So they want to make things more efficient. They also want to do things like kitting. So you would have an assembly where you would have a lot of relatively small parts. You would have those in a box so you could pick them out and say, oh, this one goes here, this one goes here, that type of thing. They want to do more of that kind of work. So it's a breather. They don't want to lay people off because mm -hmm. they're afraid they're not going to get them back. Right. And they could make things better when the 737 finally starts big, uh, production again, whenever that is. Okay, yeah. thank okay. you, Glenn.